हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज मैन फ्रॉम सिविल सेंटर एंड आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू बैक टू आवर चैनल सो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो विल फाइंड आउट हाउ टू यूज द डेटा फ्रॉम स्टैट टू डिजाइन फुटिंग सो फ्रेंड्स वी हैव डन अ मॉडल ऑफ जी प्लस वन रेसिडेंशियल बिल्डिंग इन स्टैट नाउ वी वॉन्ट टू डिजाइन द फुटिंग फॉर दिस कॉलम्स नाउ फॉर डिजाइनिंग द फुटिंग्स वी नीड टू टेक सम सर्टिन डेटा फ्रॉम स्टैट दैट इज we want our maximum axial force and our maximum moments so that we can proceed for the design of our footings so first of all we have 16 columns in our ground floor or base this column number is 59 so we'll take the data for beam number 59 as it is called in stat so for that firstly we need to analyze and run analysis while we open any new model or any old model in stat we need to analyze first so we'll click on done and then we'll go to our post processing so after going to our post processing so we'll go to our beams so after going to our beams we find that we have a window here beam force details so we'll simply click on here and then right click and print this so it will take some time to get printed so in this document it will contain all the data that is our axial forces and moments so as you can see it has fx fy and fz and also mx my and mz so among these three for our beam number 59 it is one here we need the data for beam number 59 which is our column for which we want to design our footing so for beam number 59 we want to check the maximum force axial force from these three and the maximum moment from these three so let us go and open our file so we'll simply go to our desktop and open the file so as you can see the file has been opened so we'll go to our beam number 59 so this is our beam number 59 so these are the forces now among this for these three that is our as you can see here the top portion will show you fx fy and fz we want to find the maximum fx fy and fz that is the maximum axial force and the maximum moment from these three so this 59 will see which is our maximum axial force so we have here let us go and check here 174 220 and 254 so up to now this is our maximum axial force let us check if it anything is larger than 254 so so this is 60 so up to this among these three columns for 59 the largest is 254 which we have marked so the same will do for moment for these three that is mx my and mz which is the maximum we'll simply check so this is our 59 among these three we'll check so for maximum among this is 14 26 26 let us check if anything is greater than 26 so we have here is minus 43.682 which is the maximum up till now we'll simply highlight it and check if there is anything larger than 43.6 so among these three as you can see this is 60 okay from these three nothing is larger than your 43.682 the negative sign includes or demonstrate the direction but by magnitude it is the maximum moment so we have found our pu that is our maximum axial force is 254.052 kN and our maximum moment is 43.682 kN meter and we can also check other parameters from our stat that is we want to find the data for this column number 59 so we'll simply go to this and check our concrete design as you can see our ast required is 1 2 3 7 
mm square. So we can also use this data for our footing design and the column size is 250 mm into 300 mm. So these data will note it down and in the next video we will show you how to design our footings by the use of this. So see you in the next video for design of footings. Bye for now.